What's up everybody? Happy Sunday. We're back out at the water. We won't tell you where we are today, but you know, it's that water life. It's that water life. Water life mixed with Jeep life. That's right. Hey guys, if you have not taken off your doors, or wait a minute, if you have not, not taken the doors off <laughs> aboard Jeep, you're missing out on something very special. Trust me, it adds to the whole uh, new element of going topless and riding without the doors. It's just a whole new feeling. So we're gonna jump into this. I feel like we should have like a big fan, like you should be wearing a wig, have like a well, Beyonce moment, you know, like, oh, the single light, you know, with your hair blowing back. I don't have enough hair to- So I said back. a wig. But I got yeah, your goatee would be blowing. You could be just like <laughs> dance. Anyway, sorry y'all, back at it. <laughs> Suck it down, boy. Come on. I told you I wasn't ready yet. I said we ready. We be rolling. <laughs> are we riding dirty? Literally, we are. Rainwater. Okay, guys. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on... Rainwater. Installing your Aries tube doors or trail doors. A lot of people call them trail doors or tube doors. This is a super easy installation. I didn't even look at the instructions, to be honest with you. I did watch their video. I'll put that link down below. Aries has got a uh, great video on how to install them. Once you watch that, you get all the materials laid out and all your hardware. It's very simple, but I want to give you some tips on how to do it a little quicker and a little easier. So let's jump into that. Tip number one for installing these. What you want to do is before you even get the door on the Jeep, you want to take a, I didn't do this, so I'm going to pay for it when I go to put my uh, regular doors back on but get you a fine tip sharpie and before you loosen these bolts on the door strike trace this out right here because that's going to put it back in its original location because you are going to have to loosen this up to adjust the doors so that's tip number one tip number two once you hang the door on the Jeep and you get it hanging here and you got it fastened now you got that striker plate loose what you want to do is you want to push in on the door as far as it can go push in it all the way and that will push the striker plate over then you want to tighten up the uh, torx bit on the striker plate and that gives the door a good solid fit and a lock tip number three i put a little bit of silicone spray on these little rubber bumpers because when they go to shut the door, they kind of grab a hold of the uh, door jam and a little bit of that silicone on there makes it a little slicker and it just helps it shut a little easier. So I did that on all four of them. Tip number four, these doors come with a nylon lock nut and a washer to secure them here and here, obviously. What I first did, the first mistake I made is I over tightened these to the point to where when I opened the door, the washer was rotating with the door assembly and it basically scrubbed all the paint off on the bottom here so all you need to do is just snug this up barely enough to take the uh, gap between the washer and the lock nut out don't worry about getting it too tight i was just trying to make it tight so the door had some resistance but that ended up uh, shaving some paint off the bottom of this uh, door hinge mount so i'm gonna have to when i remove these i'm gonna have to do a little touch up paint on there but that's no big deal also a great thing about these doors the optional mirrors work great. Even though they're kind of small, they're still very functional. Even on the passenger side, I can still get it adjusted where I can see vehicles on the passenger side. And also, they don't vibrate. We've been up to, I think, about 70 miles an hour on some of the trips, and there is zero vibration in the mirrors, so that's really great. And that's a super easy install. It's just got three bolts, bolting it to the tube door. 
they also the doors will come with hardware that's necessary to mount your factory mirrors to the door so if you got a set of mechanical manual type uh, jeep mirrors you can mount those on the door so we may do that <coughs> in the future power mirrors you could mount those but you're just not going to have any power mirror options also each door comes with its own uh, door catch or door strap just similar similar to your um, OEM each door comes with a set of keys anyways they come with four sets of keys that you can lock obviously um, obviously just a little quick pull finger tab here to uh, to open the door but I'm not sure um, what purpose it has for locking them if someone is going to get in there it just makes them now have to climb over the Jeep I don't know uh, but at least they do lock for whatever reason that may be but uh, they're all aluminum they're super lightweight got a good powder coat on them uh, kind of a powder coat wrinkle finish that matches our bumpers our rock sliders all that good stuff Obviously, like I said in the opening of the video, you have to get the doors off your Jeep. It just allows or adds a whole new experience to the Jeep, um, especially with the airflow that you get through the cab. It just makes it great on the um, summer days. But uh, anyways, also, and I think another reason why they call these trail doors is they will help. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get on any trails this summer with these doors. We may. Bugs. Um, but Ticks. As far as spiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're scared of is the bugs and everything else that gets inside the vehicle while we're riding on the, the trails. Ticks, dead things, Mikey. Here on the East Coast with trails, we have tree limbs. So at least at a minimum, some of the low-lying tree limbs, this will help at least kind of brush them off of your uh, off your legs and get maybe smacked in the chest with them. But, you know, other, other than that, you know, you get a little more visibility. You can lean out the Jeep when we're on trails. Uh, I did that yesterday when we got caught in rain, got a big splash of water in the face from the tires. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you a place to rest your arm while you're riding. Uh, I'm always got my door, uh, my arm on the door, even if it's the factory door or hanging out the window, forget the windows down. So these going completely doorless and not having anything kind of leaves your arm out here as sometimes you ain't got a place to, to put it. So I like the idea of having a place to just kind of relax, lay your arm and while you're cruising trails or back roads. There you go. You need to get your doors off your Jeep. Get a set of tube doors, trail doors. I'm going to put all this information down below where you can purchase these from, how much they cost, and some other information. So make sure you check out the description area and uh, get those doors off your Jeep. It's summertime and go have some fun. Enjoy that open air ride. Oh,